think and that now, might be the biggest argument for AI chatbots to take over the, some of these jobs, especially some of the lower level ones. We know that when people call the IRS for answers to their questions, I'm a taxpayer struggling with a question on my tax return. I call the IRS. The IRS uses a number called level of service to determine how many calls actually get answered. And that level of service is between 15 to about 35%. You have less than a 50-50 chance that when you call the IRS for help, you're going to get anybody to answer the answer the phone, never mind the question. So it seems like technology needs to be implemented in that area immediately. Yeah. The other thing is once you get somebody on the phone, what is the percentage chance that you're going to get a correct answer? And that's way less than 100%. In years past, it's been as bad as 50-50, where you might flip a coin as to whether you're going to get the right answer. And I think and that now, might be the biggest argument for AI chatbots to take over the, some of these jobs, especially some of the lower level ones. For what reason should you be able to get a better result out of a chatbot than you can out of a human being working for whatever wage they're working? The IRS's training materials are far too vast and far too broad to expect us to believe that any one individual or group of individuals is going to grasp that information at such a level that they will be able to consistently and accurately provide answers to taxpayer questions, particularly in light of the fact that the law keeps changing year after year after year. How can human beings keep up with that? But once you program them, now you've got the capacity to use those computers to answer these questions with at least consistency, if not accurately, at least they'll be consistent because you've got the computer program providing the answers.